What's up everybody? Sam Fleming from 100 Gardens here and this is our constant flood aquaponic system. Now there's a lot of debate around between which is better constant flood or flood and drain. I don't really know the answer but we're running a constant flood here and we've had great results with it. Now some people think that a constant flood will have oxygen issues. The way we've addressed this and address not having dead spots is the water comes in through here through our fish tank which is underneath this uh, underneath the wood here and water shoots through this bar and it has holes evenly placed all around you can see water shooting out of there and imagine water coming in all around that bar and it's all migrating to the center drain here and that's where the water goes back to the fish tank and we maintain a water level about one to two inches below the gravel and this constant flow allows for the bacteria that's growing on all the surfaces of the gravel to really be able to make a home now with a flood and drain system there's actually quite a bit of disturbance during the drain cycle now it doesn't seem like much to us but for tiny colonies of bacteria that flooding and draining is actually pretty disturbing so we're actually able to hold on to our good bacteria and to keep it undisturbed and as long as you got enough aeration in your fish tank this thing should work so over the next three growing seasons we're in february right now so february all the way to october we're going to be doing progress report videos on this flood and drain i'm sorry this constant flood aquaponics system and we're excited to see how it all works and to share our information with you just to give you an idea about how this whole thing is set up um, my friend Monty Thompson, who's my business partner in 100 Gardens, actually salvaged this wood out of a community garden that was being torn down. And it was half rotten, and he went in and pressure washed it and repurposed it. So that's why it looks all antique, because it truly is. There's two grow beds that are about a foot deep on top, and then the fish tank is down in here. We have our fish. We're just growing some koi for, you can't really see them, they're hiding in the back. But they have a lot of events here at Canvas Tattoo where this thing is set up. And all the patrons really like to gather around the aquaponic system as they're drinking their beer and listening to music. As far as the media, we have standard clay pebbles here. And these are an imported product, which is really ironic because North Carolina used to be the brick making capital of the world. Yet we're still importing this stuff from Germany. Kind of weird. Over here is a product called Permatil. It's also made in North Carolina. Um, and it is expanded slate, I believe. It's very lightweight. It's a little more jagged, but it's about a fifth of the cost as the Hydrotin. So we have sort of a side-by-side -side comparison going on here. And I'm excited to see how this whole thing goes. So stay tuned. Subscribe to our videos and follow 100 Gardens on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. See you next time.